as I like to call it. Coach Tori, welcome back, baby. Doing, Coach? Another show, baby. We got the playoffs coming up. So this is really our last week of top five talking about our baby. How you feel about that, Coach? Oh, man, it's a little, it's a little long, man. Right. It seems like it's about to wind down, man. But right. you know, we're going to have a nice playoff. I, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Cool, let's dive right into our top five and talk about our number five team, the Bonnie the Jaguars, over there with Coach Rogers. Coach, I know you know a little bit about this team. They got a little cannon over there. It's a real hard-hitting team. They're coming off a good one over Conrad that said. How you feel about the Jaguars for the last week? Man, we're talking about a tough, hard-hitting team right. man, that, that, that come with it week in, week out, man. Right. So going in the playoff, you know, nobody better not look overlook them because right. that's a tough team, man. That's right, that's right. Our number five team in our LJ top five ranking, the Bonja Jaguars, five or six year old. Shout out to everybody that's in Jaguar Nation. We see y'all from LJ TV. And coach, we're gonna talk about our number four team, Bunny Friend. Coach, this team definitely was a little quiet early on in the season and it made some noise toward the end of the year. Coach, how do you feel about Bunny Friend when I was last week before we went to the playoffs? Well, coach, when they first came in, you know, they, they, they was trying to get things together and they came off two forfeits when they mm -hmm. came in. But after the forfeits, man, this team has been knocking Turn things down. Right, you know, right. a couple of weeks ago they beat our top five team, which was the greatest saint. Right, right, right. And now this team is looking like they're ready for the playoff. Coach, okay, get it okay, okay. That's one thing I like about our babies, man. It, it, it's a wide open field. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That five and yes. six year old. You got to love that. Shout out to everybody at Bunny Friend that's listening. We see y'all from LJF TV. Our number three team, Coach. Real tough team, Coach Ryan, Coach Love over there got the boys hard hitting, they blocking. We talking about our number three team, the Norman Wildcats. Five and six year old coach, I know you know a little bit about this. Yeah, area. man, they, 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 they come, they, it's like they, they starting to peak at the right time. Okay. You know, okay. the beginning of the season, they had a lot of fumbles, they had a lot of mishaps. You know, I was checking out their practice yesterday, man, they looking real good. You know, okay. looking at the Logan, right. looking at Delgin, right, looking right. at their quarterback, Drew. You know, these kids are really coming around at right. the right time. Coach, Coach that's an awesome answer right there for you to say they, they turn the corner yes. once toward the end of the year yes. after having some mistakes early. Yes. That's a good answer right there. Shout out to the normal Wildcats, our number three ranked team in LJ TV for five or six. Coach, we're going to go up to number two. I mean, arguably the best player is on this team for five and six year old there, Jace Norman. I mean, we, we could talk about him all day. But let's talk about that coaching staff and the respect they gave to our number one team. But now they had number two. When they was at number one, they was giving some respect to Willie Hall. Let's talk about those million Raiders at number two right now, coach. That coaching staff, how, how you feel about those young guys being ready to go into this playoffs? Well, I, I have much respect for them, man, because, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, they, it was falling off. And for them to come back mm -hmm. and get things together and talk about having the number one player right. on this division, right. man, you know, that's saying something about them. So those guys really looking good over there. They getting their, their teams together. They bring it to another level. Right. And within this level, man, if you can make noise like this, mm -hmm. moving forward, man. Right, right, uh, right. I, 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 them boys. I respect that. When the Jays do, the coach is going to always be a problem. Yes. We'll yes. talk about more about him and the rest of uh, the rest of the team. And our play, playoff preview coming up, preview, playoff preview show coming up next week. But our number two team, the Millie Raiders, man. Shout out to Millie, man. I got a lot of respect for them. But that number one team, you know, when, we, when you talk about them Panthers from Willie Hall, man, you're talking about a real stack team over there. You're talking about a team coming over a uh, championship appearance last season. So they really looking to kind of get this win so they can put last year behind them. How you feel about Willie Hall the last week of the season, Coach? Well, you know, like I say, good coaching. Mm -hmm. They always get their kids ready. They get their kids out there for the game. Right. Their kids always in the spots where they need to be. You know, like I was talking to Coach, they, in the beginning of the season, a couple of teams was, was doing a lot of forfeit. Okay. Game too, so okay. they really started to, to start playing games for the last couple of weeks. Right. But it looked like they started to get everything together, Coach. Right. It's going to be a nice playoff. Coach, forward, man. To, to, to switch base, first of all, let's give a shout out to Willie Hall, our number one team, the five or six year old from LJ TV. We ain't forget about y'all fans. Y'all still number one. Coach, we'll just spend 30 seconds on something right quick. When you talk about the forfeit, I'm always, I always get confused when you talk about that. I know kids love to play sports. By you being the coach and dealing with the five and six year old level, kind of touch bases on how, how does a team actually forfeit a game? Well, coach, you know, I look at it that the, the, the teams didn't have enough players. Okay. And by them not having enough players, if they don't come with like 15 players, right, right. you know, they're going to forfeit the game. Okay. So okay. that's just something moving forward that, that, that really has to be looked into right. when it comes down to the park. Maybe 
making sure that they have enough kids, right. making sure everything is right with the kids. Mm -hmm. So because, you know, no, no coach want to go to a game when they expecting a game, they, they have to do a forfeit. Yeah. And that, that right. happened to me a couple of times. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest with you, man, that really burns the coach up. When they all amped up, you at your job, you yeah. ready for a game, yeah. you, you looking forward to this. And when you get there, man, it's a forfeit. Yeah. You know, so it, it's just some things that they have to start working on. Right. So these events don't take car moving forward. Right, Coach, I appreciate that answer right there. LJTV, we love it on our five to six-year-old babies right now. Shout out to our CEO, Cody Hogan, who always get our top five, five, four.